now we have an energy company, oil and gas producing Trillion Energy, which trades on the OTC under the symbol TCFF. Please welcome President Arthur Halloran. Hello, this is Art Halloran. How do you do, Anna? Welcome, Art. Glad to have you on. Take it away whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, so I'm the president and CEO of uh, Trillion Energy which is an oil and gas producer in Turkey. And we trade on the Canadian Security Exchange, Frankfurt and the OTC. The picture you see here in this presentation is one of our, uh, one of our four offshore platforms in the, the Black Sea off of Turkey. Uh, next, and this talk will be basically how we're going to increase the revenue and our production specifically on the offshore Black, uh, Black Sea gas field. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, currently we have about 155 barrels of oil per day from an oil field in Turkey, and then the offshore gas field is about a million uh, cubic feet per day. And then we also have additional exploration and development properties in Turkey and Bulgaria. We generate probably right now maybe 4 million US in, in revenue. The major thing we're gonna do now is the development of our Black Sea gas asset. And the key points for that is we own 49% of a 608 million dollar US offshore uh, facilities, four platforms, gathering system, and also the onshore uh, gas facility. To date, from four pools, we have produced $350 million of gas. In those four pools, we have experience from the birth of those pools to um, the death of the pools. The large gas reserve additions we have for this um, SASB gas field is we have four discovered unproduced gas pools that have been drilled, tested, and mapped and are identical to the four that we have already produced. And so our goal is to drill off of the existing platforms to put those four pools in production. In addition to those um, um, four gas pool reserves, we have six development um, gas pools that we can drill off the existing platforms and an independent third party estimate for the reserves and also for the prospects uh, gives us a value net trillion of about 250 million dollars uh, US. We require a 20 million dollar net financing for us because we're 49 percent, 51 percent is the Turkish government and we intend to raise this in the second and third quarter of uh, 2021. And I'll get into more details of how we intend to do it, but we need this money to bring on the $250 million um, asset that we have there. And part of the deal that we're trying to work on right now is we're discussing with two uh, drilling companies with Jackup Rigs to make a complete package. They will supply the rig uh, the consumables, um, the services, and our conversation with them is to make um, a payment plan. So it's kind of like a, a pseudo debt facility in that because of our four pools that are reserved, so they're 100% they're proven, they know that in the future they can get paid out of the revenue. And that will be kind of like a debt facility that's worth about we're trying to get about six to maybe seven million uh, dollars in that one. We have right now um, a smallish investment banker uh, group that are willing to put in ten million dollars right now as an equity uh, um, financing. But the issue with that for us is that our shares are undervalued, and we are now working at getting the message out for the amount of value we have in our company. And once we get up to about 15, 20 cents for the shares, we will um, take part of that. And at the same time, we're also talking to uh, debt financers with a royalty component. 
And the idea is to try to get as much financing for the $20 million, that's our, our share, in the debt facility or a um, service agreement so that we can take as little equity um, investment as possible. And the gas price that we get in Turkey is about six to seven dollars, which is a very high price, uh, and it's a good uh, regime for us. The big game changer in uh, the Turkish Black Sea is the discovery of the Tuna One, which is the largest discovery in Europe in 30 years. Uh, next slide, please. So this is the SESB field. Um, it's a, like I said, offshore of the Black Sea. I'm a geologist by trade, but because this field is so well known, I won't mention any geology because, like I said, we have produced four fields from birth to death. All the other fields will be exactly the same, so there's no mystery. We know exactly when water comes in, when to change the pressure, the whole uh, works. There you can see that the uh, fiscal terms, 12.5% royalty to the government only and a 22% corporate tax rate. But because so much money has been invested, we won't be paying taxes for a while. You can see in the map the SESB gas field that we have, the facility. And then there is the Tuna, Tuna One discovery from um, the government. And here's some other um, Black Sea gas uh, uh, deposits. So for the four fields, the reserves, we have the third party um, engineering report and a 2VP, a 2, 2P NPV 10% before taxes gives us $75 million of value. This is for the, the reserves, which equates to about a 1.2 to $1.8 million revenue per month after um, costs. And the reason why I'm going and saying the same thing over again is that you'll see we have tremendous value, which is not reflected in our uh, share value. So that's for the four um, proven undeveloped wells of being pools that we will drill off the existing platforms. The seven prospects, which are not really prospects, they're actually development. And for a risk, we have an additional $83 million value, and for unrisked, it becomes $136 million value. And in addition to that, we have numerous um, expiration type prospects, and this is all on our blocks, and they are stratigraphic and also additional workovers and um, uh, directional drilling. Next slide, please. So, this is the map of the gas pool, so of course that's the Black Sea, this is Turkey. The green um, blobs there are where we have our offshore platforms. The green are the pools that we have produced. The blue are the pools that have been drilled, tested, and mapped, and we will re-drill them from the platforms. And that way when we drill them, we complete them, we'll have production within a matter of uh, a month or two from being drilled and completed because there's no pipe, no additional gathering system. It just goes to the platform, into the existing pipelines to our onshore facility. The red are our development locations and you can see quite often they are just um, vaulted limbs off existing pools. And again, those we can drill off existing platforms and then run into our um, gathering system and facility. And the gas contract is take all. So as much gas as we produce, the contract uh, will take it. And in the phases, we'll be producing about 25 million cubic feet per day. Net us. Next slide, please. So here's a summary of the SESB reserve and resource report. And again, what's important is that we have 2P, 10% NPV, $75 million US. And then for the prospects, the development locations, for the risk, 
we have 83 and the unrisked 136 million. And just using the 2P and the risk reserves, we have a value of 150, $160 million US. It gives us a share value of 100, and, I mean, one point, about a, one, one, one point three dollars per, uh, per share. Our shares right now are at eight cents Canadian. So there's not enough eyes on the company to actually, um, for people to know what's going on here. Next slide, please. So this is the reserve. This is the four proven undeveloped gas pools. Again, this is a third party um, security exchange quality reserve report that um, is a 51101 standard or quality. And the difference was when we got the properties and so on, there was no reserve report done. So our value, we'll, go, we'll talk about the dollar value here, from 2018 to 2019, and it's the same today, um, have increased our value by $80 million for just the reserves, not including the, the development. And for P3, it's $132 million. This growth is just drill the wells, complete them, and put them on production. There is absolutely no um, mystery, no complications, nothing. Next slide, please. Um, this is the growth that we expect. Um, in 2021, some of it will be shifted a bit in the later dates. But here are our platforms, here's our existing pipelines. And this is net to us. And you can see that we will be making uh, 11 BCF per year. Um, it works out to about 25 million cubic feet per day. So we will increase our production almost 2,000 BOEs. And this is phase three and phase four does not include the additional stuff that we are looking at. And we will get the seismic reprocessed and some of the um, things slightly um, de-risked a bit because we we are adverse to risk. We we see ourselves as a gas producing um, company in this prospect and not an exploration type um, prospect. I mean, uh, company for it. And there's enough upside and and things left to be done that there is um, pretty easy um, gas to put on. So with the additional phases, this tail will level off a bit. It won't it won't be as steep. Um, and the, the four platforms are in very, very good shape, as is everything else, because it's not that old. Next slide, please. So what we have also for, I mentioned it for additional um, potential, we have this large facility, we have this large uh, infrastructure, and we need to capitalize on it. And with the new discoveries by uh, TPAO, which they say is about 14 TCF, and that's the Tuna One, and also the other ones in Romania and Bulgaria, indicates that there's a lot more gas being generated. And so before they used to think it was kind of a hungry basin. And so we're looking at um, deeper prospects in our block and also um, similar type prospects that we are now producing gas that are um, contiguous to us because nobody can compete, compete with us because we already have the infrastructure and the pipelines and the investment uh, put in. Next slide, please. So for the conclusions for SAS, SASB is that we have a large paid for infrastructure. We have the four platforms, the gas lines, the gathering systems, um, the management, um, onshore facilities in the contract. We have four discovered non-produced gas pools, which are identical to the ones that are produced. We have six low risk development gas pools, which both sets will drill from existing platforms 
and just produce through our uh, infrastructure. That will give us a value, net us $250 million. Uh, we require our percentage, $20 million capex, to realize this value. Our partner is TPAO, like I said. They'll come up with the other basically 51%. It is great having a large government company as our partner because we have a whole bunch of added benefits of um, a scale. How we intend to get this CapEx, and we're down the road in a lot of them a long ways. Like I say, we have a $10 million equity waiting. Uh, we feel that we need to get the share value higher so that we don't dilute uh, the existing shareholders. Doesn't mean we will take the $10 million if we can do the rig financing, um, debt payment, and also a, um, a debt component with maybe a royalty attached to it. If we can get $15 million with that, we will take a $5 million um, equity component because the idea is to use um, as little as the equity as possible. And future expiration has, like I said, deeper potential in our block, contiguous potential around our block, and we also have um, other leads in our oil field, and we have some exploration projects in the Zagros Basin in northern Iraq, which is part of Turkey that comes down and um, has identical geology and petroleum systems as the large oil fields. But our goal is to capitalize, create value, and generate revenue to grow the company internally from the SES field, the gas there. And we are the experts for this type of depth in the water, and we're the only um, public company, non-government company, in the Turkish um, basin for the Black Sea. Next slide, please. So I'll just go over this quickly because this changes all the time. Ultimately, I just want to show our value right now is about $8 million US. You see we have $608 million facility. We own a large part of it. We have an oil field that itself is worth about six to $5 million US. And like I tell people, we could end up scrapping and get more for the middle value of the platforms and facilities than what we are valued right now. The valuation that we have doesn't reflect any of the potential, any of the um, reserves, and because they're reserves, because there's 100% sure of our gas that we have. And then you have some comparables here, 166 million and 628 million, and we're at about 8 million. So I'm trying to get the message out to realize there is value in our in our shares. Next slide, please. Uh, I'll just do this one quickly. This just shows you we have a revenue base of our gas field, um, the SASB, which we keep producing so that the facility and everything is, is um, kept current. But we also have an oil field that we have about 155 barrels of oil per day now. And between the two, we generate about um, three and a half to four million US a year. And this field is a long life, low decline. Um, medium grade oil and even when the price of oil goes down to 35 bucks we still make money on it and right now it's uh, we're getting about 55 60 dollars uh, next slide please um, I just want to have a little bit of upside in here these are kind of a small map you can look on our website for it but here's Turkey Turkey comes down with a little nose that hangs in there. This is the Zagros Basin in northern Iraq where you have huge fields. And we have some geology and some seismic on our block. We have now been um, sort of surrounded by the uh, TPAO, which is the Turkish government company. We own this 100%. We have oil um, seeps in it. We have the same geology as 
you find in um, the Zagros Basin here in uh, northern Iraq. We have the same source rocks, the same reservoirs, um, same trapping, everything. So if we find something in there, we're talking um, a couple of hundred million barrels. The difference between us and the Turkey side is again, we have 12 and a half percent royalty. And on the other side, you start having um, substantial, like 40 to 60% um, takeaways. Next slide, please. Um, okay, I'm gonna just do this quickly here because I wanna get, hopefully there's lots of questions. Management has a lot of experience. Um, I was one of the co-founders of Canical Energy in Colombia, which is now the largest gas producer in Colombia. Also one of the um, co-founders of um, Rally Energy when they went into Egypt. Um, and we have David Thompson with a lot of experience with Sea Dragon. Um, Kubele has been with this project since it started in Turkey. And that, so that'd be around like 2007. So he has tremendous contacts and also has the expertise to drill in the shallow part of the uh, the Black Sea. And then um, Barry Wood is also a director and Ozzy is our um, CFO there. We have 12 people in the office in Turkey and our main office is in Turkey. Next slide, please. And um, that's about it. Thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you so much. This was a fascinating presentation. Uh, we do have a question about any plans of an RS. Sorry? We do have one question. Any plans of an RS? Are there any plans doing reverse split in the future as well as plans to list to NASDAQ since you have um, a quote, amazing share structure? Yeah, I think I think right now, like what we want to do is um, focus all our energy on getting these fields on production and getting revenue. And the reason for that has been a long haul to get the company in um, good financial state, to get the data for the, the reserves, to list on the Canadian Security Exchange. And what we're looking at is that if once we get the, the Turkish gas on on production, we're going to continue to be a gas generating company in Turkey and also in that part of the world. And so we're looking at maybe listing on a, a London exchange where we have more, more European type appetite for, for that investment. Thank you. Another question is, if you do an equity raise, what price would you do it at? Well, we'd like to do it as high as possible, but we have a trigger and it's about 15 to 20 uh, cents. Um, but the issue is that um, it's all to do with timing. So if we have something in hand that we know, say is like 15 cents or so, and we have um, the other debt components are, we, we feel fairly confident with the rig uh, payment. So the equity component would be smaller. And if it's a difference between getting out there drilling and getting the gas on because we know we have a huge value and the difference you know between five cents a share, we'll make that judgment call. We're, we see that we have a lot higher value. So of course, I'd like to be in the 20 cents, 30 cents range, but it all depends how long it takes. So 15, 20 cents is what we are aiming for right now. Okay. And last question. If all goes as planned, what would be your FCF in 2022? So you're breaking up. Our, what would be our what? Our revenue? Your FCF. If all goes as planned, what would be your FCF in 2022? Um, 22. Probably about um, maybe twenty-four million dollars. 
okay? Because we're going to be we're going to be making about 1.2 to 1.8 million dollars per uh, per month after cost. Okay. All right. Well, and as always, if people have more questions, they can send them directly to you. Thank you so much, Art. Um, great learning about Trillion Energy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Talk to you later.